2,400 names will be displayed on this grey wall with a period of 8 seconds during the whole week. Similar events are held across the country and across the border. In England, Queen Elizabeth is visiting Canada House at Trafalgar Square to pay a tribute to the honour of Canadian soldiers who died during the First World War. August 1914. Crisis in Europe. Great Britain declares war on aggressive Germany. Canada answers the call too. 44 Canadians died every day for the period of four years. Among them are soldiers from New Brunswick. Tonight, at the UN BLM and I Memorial Building, these names came alive. Memorial Vigil was organized for heroism and courage of those who had fallen fighting on foreign soil. Greg Thompson, Minister of Veteran Affairs, says words are never uh, enough to comprehend the sacrifice the of Canadian soldiers. But tonight is different. Tonight we'll witness something much more powerful than just words. Something much more profound than just staggering numbers that are too large for us to comprehend in terms of Canada's sacrifice in the First World War. Tonight we have names. Ninety years later, we can speak and pray. They died fighting for freedom and for a better world. In that spirit, we pray for a better, more just world, a world of peace, reconciliation, and justice amongst all peoples of the earth. In your name we pray. Take a breath and remember. But the question is, will we ever learn the lesson of sacrifice and keep the peace, the cost for which was too high? Damir Davlitiarova, student of journalism.